welcome to the opening night. We are the Glamazon. Oh, and we are beautiful, tall, and proud. Don't be a fool You can't just take what you want in my heart and then me Can you not see The stars on the open and stitches are left unsung um, I met Tessa in the shop, it was her first day, and I walked in, and I just, I turned to Alex, our boss, and I just went, who is that? And she, just, and she overheard me, and she just went, I'm Tessa. Alrighty then, good to know. That salty taste upon our lips, the epitaph that space inside our skin. I actually met her right in this room, right here. We were doing the set design and construction for oh, what was it? Sweet Charity. And uh, there was just this new girl wandering around. I was like, who are you? And she's like, I'm Tessa. And I'm like, you don't work here. She's like, no, I do. Ask Alex. And I go, Alex, who's this girl? And he goes, that's Tessa. And I'm like, no, I don't know if she works here. And he's like, no, no, she does. She brought a lot of pleasure, a lot of joy, and a lot of fun to really anything she did. She'd always make you laugh. At the top of my She's definitely made me a better person. She's taught me so much um, in the time that I knew her and that I know that there was so much more that I wanted to learn from her and about her. I met Tessa here in the shop on a Friday afternoon. I stopped by to see if Alex needed any extra help with anything and I walked in and there was a, a tech lab session going on so there were a couple other people here and there was this new girl who was on top of the work table walking around measuring wood and cutting it and building stuff so I walked over to a friend of ours, Aaron, and I leaned in and I said, Aaron, who is that and what is she doing on my table? And she, Aaron leaned over to me and she said, oh, I don't know, Tim, but she kind of scares me a little. And I knew that Tessa was special because the next day, the next, the following Monday that I saw her, we were in the theater putting all this stuff together. And when I walked into the auditorium, Tessa was already up on stage on top of the set, walking around again. And she said, oh, hi, Tim. And I looked at her and I remembered her name, Tessa. Maris and I were getting dinner, and she was with a friend, and the song The Devil Went Down to Georgia came on, and Maris was dressed with her cowboy boots. Uh -huh. And she said that she wanted to learn dance, and I said, well, Tessa will go dance with you, I'm sure. <laughs> so Tessa, I didn't you know like, how she heard that. She like bolted over, linked arms, and we like line danced like, around the <laughs> Spartan Club, and that was it. <laughs> Filming queer. <laughs> um, one day we were just walking, we'd have breakfast every morning, and um, I knew that I wanted to film this movie for Campus Movie Fest, and I had no one to do it with, and I was like, hey, you know, do you want to film uh, with me, do the camera, because I know that she's a photographer, and so she's like, yeah, totally, and we're like, oh, okay, so anyway, and then the next day, I was like, well, let's really do this, and so we got everything for Campus Movie Fest, and then we just one day came up here, and, and this room is where we shot Queer. And um, 
she just, I just don't, she was just so much fun there and she, you know, was like under the sink, filming things, like under the table, getting on top of the window, you know, on top of the table, like all different angles and it was just, it was just a lot of fun. This is just a song, not here to make sense of these words that I sing for no one, to each his own. I think she most impressed me when we were working on Sweet Charity and we had this monstrous set that, uh, these walls that were 20 feet tall and they all need to be supported from above to hold them and uh, she'd never done any of this kind of stuff before and I said, you know, I'm going to send you up to the top with the cables and all the straps and the rigging and uh, gave her all the instructions and filled her pockets full of uh, hardware and bagged with a bunch of straps and she went up there and spent hours up on the grid of the theater 50 feet above the floor um, hauling heavy stuff up and strapping things off and it was all it was all kind of new to her and she was uh, up for the challenge and was smiling the whole time. Seeing Tessa and other students like her always remind me that those folks are out there and um, it's not always a bunch of people that don't care there's a bunch of people who really do care. And I would always compliment her on her cinematography. I was always just like, hey, your cinematography is amazing. I'm trying to convince her to get into the film program. Um, she had such a good eye. Such a beautiful, beautiful eye for things. She beamed. Her smile always beamed. And it would just make you feel great. Didn't need any words for it. It would just make you feel great. Tessa was always willing to take that extra step to try something, be a little bit more creative, take that extra chance. That's what she did. That was that adventurous quality about her with everything that she did. And she added excitement and happiness to all of that. I can safely say without a doubt that I've lived more in the last six months of my life than I have at any other point. And I have tested a thing for that. The smile that she brought into everything reminded me why I was doing everything, why I talk to people, why I love doing theater, why I love building things in the shop. Tessa reminded me why I did it. It's because it was fun. Because it created something. And just with that smile that she brought into it and just the happiness that she had doing it just spread to me and it spread to everyone else. And she, she impacted me that way, I think, the greatest. She made me happy. <laughs> She's inspired me to, to pursue a more creative life because she really was like a creative partner. We were always coming up with different ideas, whether it was like making a film, we were gonna make a, a calendar together, we are gonna make a uh, picture, a movie of pictures together. And, um, and so we just kept having all these crazy ideas and searching for abandoned theaters and stuff. And so I think she's just inspired me to keep going after those dreams and ideas and looking at things in a different way. Okay, this song um, is called Tear Filled Eyes and um, I wrote it after I had gotten back from a mission trip that I usually go on every year. Um, it's just like seeing the kids, like when we say goodbye, it's just a really sad time. So this is what I wrote about. I know a lot of people, I say hi to a lot of people, but do I really know them? And here's a person that I unfortunately will never have the opportunity to really get to know as well as I might like. But 
lots of people did that work, and she changed a lot of people, and that's something worth holding on to. Christ follower. Authentic. Just like very real. Uh, resiliency. Fabulous. She is absolutely fabulous in, in every single way. Adventurous. Adventurous I think has to be the word that describes Tessa because it just it molds everything that she was into one one concept. And Tessa was that rare combination of energy and excitement that just had the ability to take anything in and make it better. If I could say anything to Tessa right now, I, I don't think I would say anything. I just hold her. She always figured it out without me having to say anything at all. And I really I like that about her. I'll be by your side whenever you fall in the dead of night, wherever you call, and please don't fight these hands that are holding you. My hands are holding you. That are holding you, yeah, my hands are holding you.